how's it going everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Bannerlord video today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new realm of thrones update 5.0 which brings the game up to the latest Bannerlord patch which comes with all the amazing features like the dynamic weather and the unit targeting and plenty of other really awesome stuff a quick overview of the update if you just want to quickly come in see what's new and then kind of go on your merry way we have the brand new golden company equipment brand new giant armors plenty of new equipment for a lot of the Essos factions, so they're really starting to come into their own. Plenty of new armors for a lot of the heroes. There are brand new races with the Giants, White Walkers, and even a White Race. There's a brand new custom map with the Twins. On top of that, we also have a brand new Red Keep scene, which will be great when we start adding in a lot more custom quests that can be used, hopefully, just to be awesome. You can now actually purchase Giants one at a time to kind of fill out your army, and their actual abilities have been enhanced a lot. They take a lot more damage than, say, your average soldier and obviously swing and do a lot more damage than your average soldier plenty of new houses have been added into the game along with a few more extra villages they've also added in plenty of new events and these actually have a lasting game impact so you have the execution of ned stark the battle of blackwater the red wedding the purple wedding and stannis to east watch and even a daenerys targaryen invasion event and these actually do affect the game like in the Daenerys invasion when that happens I think around about turn 250 she will actually physically invade there's a lot of more structured static wars as well which are really awesome and this is honestly really just the very much the beginning of the uh of these kind of event stories and stuff I can't wait to see them improve and add more of these there are new ways to obtain dragons as well you can get yourself a dragon head by defeating a very very strong warrior and that uh, obviously if you do his quest line as well you'll be able to uh yeah progress that and then a ton of other improvements along the lines of banners, etc., thick crash fixes, and, and plenty more. But they're kind of the main ones. So let's just dive in and take a look at all these brand new features. As we mentioned, there are several new races now, or I guess three new races. We have the White Walker race right here, which looks very good. Kind of looks like the uh, the guy from How I Met Your Mother right there. Uh, we also have the White race as well as the finally the Giant race, which you can't quite see. It doesn't always zoom all the way out. And obviously, all of these guys do come with their own custom armors uh, along the lines. And again, adding in some pretty cool details again there's more custom armors actually in the game itself and i believe each race does also have their very own kind of custom abilities as well whether it's damage reduction or better damage or more party size etc they all come with their own bonuses and obviously if you pick the white uh, race or the uh, the white walker race you'll actually go ahead and spawn out obviously into the, the north beyond the wall see here as well this is i think has been improved in this patch but isn't exactly new we have the night king as well uh with his zombie horse looking very awesome in the background and you can see some of that armor actually on the uh the night you actually go ahead and you can fight the night king in a hideout beyond the wall this is one of the new units as well so the summer isles have also been uh, implemented into the game so we do now have some units for the summer isles and again their armors are really nice a great addition to them they have a handful of actual units if we go over to their roster you can see it's mainly the, the higher tier units that have the, uh, the majority of all the custom equipment and then as you go to the lower tiers it's a bit more of the vanilla assets but this is the first implementation of them and it's cool to have them in you know it's a kind of a nice change you can have some real good role play with them Arth is also a new uh, updated faction in this update. They have some really cool looking new armor uh, that's going to really fit into them as they, you know, obviously fight in and just kind of differentiate them from a lot of the other Stormland soldiers. Again, looking very cool with that overcoat. Adds a nice little extra flavor to that faction. One of the main units I wanted to show off is the brand new Golden Company. These guys can be bought in their home settlement and you can, I think they're quite a hefty penny, but they are very, very good and they provide some of the best infantry in the game. I think only the unsullied come close to beating them uh they have what 250 two hand yeah 250 pole arm 230 one handed and 230 athleticism so they're going to be a very very scary force and they come in several different ranges you have of course the spear shield sword infantry you have the mounted version and then you also have the crossbow version and honestly the units themselves look amazing we'll dive in in a battle and go ahead and take a look at them in a little bit more of a glory but they have done a great job here from the sword to the shield to the armor yeah definitely very very cool. Yeah, to show you the Summer Isles, they've only really added in the kind of top parts of the Summer Isles with Lotus Bay, but they you know, they are here now and again. This is a faction. This may be a great place for you to come and start a kingdom. If you're looking to kind of forge your own kingdom, this wouldn't be a bad place to do it. Obviously, there's a lot more other pirate islands and other things that you can mess around with, but still a nice place to kind of grow from. 
So here we go. This is also the twin. So this is the brand new custom settlement that has been added in. And of course, as you can see, it is the twins. This is going to be able to be sieged over. So you're going to be able to fight over this if you besiege the twins. And I believe this is the third custom castle they have in the mod. More and more being added every single time. And there's a lot to obviously get through, but getting through them is awesome. Being able to fight and siege over these is always a really cool idea. I love the design of them. You can obviously see the other side of the twins as well being identical in its defense. It doesn't really matter which side you do attack, you're going to be engaging here. And yeah, the more of this stuff is going to be great. Again, it'd be awesome to get some like custom, more Game of Thrones esque kind of uh, decoration, whether it's banners or whatever kind of going off the castle. That would be really cool. But yeah, the more of these they add, the better. Uh, and the sooner they add them as well, it's going to be great. We can see the brand new Red Keep scene as well. As I said, it looks absolutely beautiful. They've done a great job with here. I'm very excited again to have like some story events in here. Lands of Sikar, quite an old mod that is no longer around. There's Joffrey on the goddamn Iron Throne looking like a pompous. Well, I won't say that because I don't want to get demonetized, but yeah, definitely got a good little showing of him. But yeah, the Land of Sikar had lots of very cool like story events, and I think this this scene will be amazing to go ahead and represent that. You can see the back of the keep right here as well. A little bit unfulfilled at the moment, but I imagine they will add some more stuff back here. Maybe a uh, you know the, the the small council meetings and other stuff. You can get up there to the uh, the higher position to watch court etc and of course sit on the iron throne with joffrey oh god look at him look at him god damn it and here are one of the brand new events this is ned stark's execution now this event isn't actually interactable with the many of the other ones actually are so yeah this is just kind of telling the story saying that you know ned's been executed the war of the five kings has begun and everyone is kind of throwing in i believe events such as like the red wedding can actually be stopped if you kill uh Roose bolton I believe it doesn't go ahead and Rob survives and of course if you don't then Rob does actually end up perishing It'd be really cool as well if they could get some like visual events to go along with that like it, the scenes being reenacted that would be really cool and but yeah that's just a small taste obviously as i mentioned in the beginning you have the uh, purple wedding with joffrey you have stannis uh, going to Eastwatch, and obviously danny danny's invasion as well so there's like plenty of other events and, and i think a handful of them are all interactable and you can mess around with them if you kill the appropriate lord of course later on they have plans to actually make them much more interactable and actually probably maybe have quest lines to to stop them or encourage them or do whatever that's like a very cool feature and something that, you know definitely Definitely Banner Lord just needs more of in general. Now let's just take a quick a little look-see at the units up close and personal. So here we go. We have, of course, the Golden Company. I really wanted to show these guys off in battle. Keep in mind as well, they have some absolutely insane stats and they look beautiful. They really do. Stick them in a nice little shield wall. Of course, those shield walls aren't the strongest, but you know, tightly packed warriors, and they're gonna be great. And again, they can kill cavalry, and cavalry is so useful in Realm of Thrones. Heavy knights are obviously the best. We also have the giants as well, their custom faces. They've done a good job there. More facial hair, I think, though. More facial hair indeed. And their bows. You probably want to stick these bad boys in loose formation and let them just unleash hell. I mean, let's stick them up on the hill and see what their range is. And then we also have the Golden Company Cavalry. In the next update, I'd love to see custom horse armor for them. Again, kind of just take you away from playing Battle Lord and playing more Realm of Thrones, of course. Uh, they look great. So the archers still aren't in range. Let's see them a little bit closer. Get the infantry up here as well. Uh, and then just see what these guys are made of actually in battle. I mean, they look just so good good they really do the golden company are just yeah an awesome faction brought to life with this mod. I guess what we can actually do is we can use the brand new 1.2.8 features to tell these guys to close into range and actually unleash a volley at them. Okay, so their range is pretty decent. There you go, shooting these humongous bows at the enemy. Are these like ballista bolts, I wonder? Yeah, I mean, they're pretty large-scale arrows, right? What if I get them closer? Let's get them like up here with the infantry up here as well. Yeah, look at the size of the arrows in the ground. That's pretty crazy. I'm trying to see if these giants can hit anybody. I want to see what, how much damage they do with a single shot. Uh, yeah, I mean, imagine firing that bow is going to be pretty bad. But if it does hit, it's like a goddamn ballista. And there you go. You watch the Golden Company just absolutely demolish. Yeah, they're going to cut these guys to pieces. The giants as well. Oh, my God. Just bringing that club down like an absolute madman. And there we go. Ripping them off. The cavalry, the other knights. I'm surprised they're not whipping out their spears. I'm, yeah, I'm really surprised they're not whipping out their spears. Uh, is there any way for me to like adjust that? Does that help? No. 
Yeah, yeah they're just going to use their swords. Okay, that's a shame. I guess maybe because it's like a pike. Maybe that's something we actually need to change. Because if it's a pike and it can only be used with uh, two hands, they're not going to switch weapon, which is obviously re a real shame because the main reason you'd probably bring these guys is for that, uh, you know, like anti-cavalry. I mean, not that they need it. They can just kill cav like that. But yeah, if you could like force these guys to switch to their spear, that's better. And I think maybe if you give them a, a one-handed spear, they might have a better chance. Of but there we go, guys. A little rundown really quickly of the brand new update for Realm of Thrones. As I said, it's been updated for 1.2.8. So it's a current patch or 1.2.9, I think is the current patch of Bannerlord. Go play it now. It's really easy to install and just get stuck in. And this is definitely the best patch we've had yet. Everything with just vanilla Banner Lord with Realm of Thrones and all the updates they've been working towards. It's a really fun experience. Now, factions are fighting. There's lots of battles. And there's also, obviously, as I mentioned, a lot of scripted wars. So, for example, the Iron Islands go into a static, like, constant war with the uh, with the North at a day around about day 150. And that is a war to the death. I'm not sure what happens when the Red, Red Wedding happens. If then Bruce Bolton has to fight them or what happens there. I haven't actually made it that far but yeah it's really cool to kind of see stuff like that you know factions will automatically go to war at the appropriate time so yeah if you guys enjoyed this please do drop a like and a comment down below it helps out massively let me know what you thought of the realm of thrones update down below and i'll see you guys in the next one